That's Frank with the deep end here in the mothership. And I want to talk about diverter valves today. And this is a JD valve, the JD brand uh, diverter valve. It's probably the most popular, at least in our area of Texas, it's by far the most popular diverter valve. And most pools will have this valve or something very similar, one or two, or maybe even six or seven of these valves on their system. And I keep running across pool owners that really don't understand how this valve works. It's actually fairly simple. It on the Jandy valve on the handle here, it says off. And that means whatever is opposite of this handle, whatever is in this area right here is actually shut off. So right now, this is open, this is open. There's nothing blocking here if there was a pipe here, but this section here is shut off. If I take this valve and I turn it sideways like this, now this pipe is open, this pipe is open. There's nothing blocking this if there was a pipe there, but this is shut off. And these valves can also partially shut off. They don't have to 100% shut off. So I can go in between and now I'm partially shutting off this pipe and I'm partially shutting off this pipe. If you look inside there, you can see, hopefully you can see where the diverter is actually blocking. See right now it's partially open and now it's fully closed. If I turn it all the way sideways, you can see now that is wide open. If I do it from this angle, maybe that'd be a better angle. You can see, now you can see me and now you can't. So I just wanted to make that clear because I know that there's some misunderstandings out there about how these valves work. Something else on these valves, and it happens quite often, if a pump was to get hot or just the O-ring wear out, you will leak around this shaft. And it's actually a very simple fix. I can demonstrate, this is the debarger on the inside of that, by the way. It, there are two O-rings that go on this shaft. And then the shaft goes up through the cap, and then the cap goes out into the valve. But if you have a valve that's leaking right here, or what I see most often is these valves suck air because they're in front of the pump on the suction side of the pump where there's negative pressure and the pump will suck air and blow bubbles through the system. But it's because these O-rings, typically these O-rings go bad and they're easy to replace. You just have to remove all eight of these screws, pull the cap off, pull this apart, replace these two O-rings, we got it open, go ahead and replace the O-ring that goes on the cap and then reassemble. Now, when it comes to reassembling, this is something I've, I've learned the hard way. These screws are stainless steel. This valve is plastic. You have to be careful when you put these screws back into this plastic or they'll strip it or crack it. My trick is whenever I'm about to screw these screws in, I go backwards and listen, you hear that little pop? It's falling down into the grooves. I'll turn it backwards until it falls down the end of the groove. Then I'll go see here and makes it, it goes easily. Now, of course, once it gets tighter, it does get a little bit harder. But if it's really difficult to drive this screw in, you probably have it cross threaded. And what you end up doing is stripping that screw so that's, or that screw hole. So this screw will no longer grab and this cap may possibly leak or you'll crack the valve right here. I see this quite often where these valves are cracked right here and it actually allows air to be sucked into the valve and into the plumbing or water to leak to that point. And once that's cracked, there's no fixing it. So anyway, I just want to give y'all a couple little tips on uh, diverter valves today. This gang valve, like I said, it's my favorite, but uh, there's others that are very comparable in quality. Be sure to follow us, subscribe to our channel, and uh, be looking for our next video on uh, some more tips and tricks.